Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us, one big happy family. Thank you so much for all your beautiful comments, your loving support, always. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'd like to mention if the video is too fast for you on any of them, in the description box there's a link, two minute video, how to slow down the speed of the video and also to turn your closed caption on so the stitches i'm calling will be written down here you can pause read and take notes i don't write patterns i get asked that a lot for the most times i use 2.75 hooks depending upon the uh, thread i'm using 3 3.5 or the pattern that i want to create to go bigger or not and that's what you should do for people that have tight stitch use a size of hook bigger or two size bigger and for people that have a loose stitch you should go a little bit one or two size uh, smaller so a small one to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors i do have a private crochet uh, group that you're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile also follow me on my uh, crochet page on facebook instagram and TikTok. If you're stuck on any projects, you could always message me through there. I'd like to mention that uh, a lot of you sometimes ask me about my threads. Uh, these are Portugal threads. I am in Europe. They're four ply, 100% cotton thread, and they sell. Uh, it's twelve dollars, making the exchange twelve dollars, a hundred grams, which are balls like this. Okay, it's about uh, 300 to 325 uh, yards, uh, minimum of order of six balls. Okay, so uh, we're going to get started. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. It's free of charge. You don't pay for that, and it helps us create tremendously. And if you watch the video, and if you're not a creator um, or don't crochet, because I know some of you don't but love to watch my videos, please do give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And if there is short commercials, just watch the little small commercials. I don't want you to be wasting your time in five, 10 minute commercial, but it does help the channel again itself. Okay, so let's get started everyone. Thank you so much. And for the women that have been donating, uh, for the women in need of thread, thank you from the bottom of my heart and for your tips also, thank you so much. And for the ones that are considering to do so to help the women in need of thread, please consider so. My PayPal account is in the description box also. If you wanna give it through there, if you wanna give it through the little a thank you bag underneath the video you can the only difference is that youtube takes 30 percent of that money that you're donating okay let's get started everyone okay everyone so today we're going to create another round uh, pineapple doily i think you'll like this one too and um it's going to be uh, a medium size, so it's not that small, it's not that big. Not unless you're using Aunt Lydia number three, then it will be bigger. My thread's a four ply, but these are Portugal threads. They're a little bit thinner than Aunt Lydia, so my patterns become a little bit thinner, uh, smaller, I should say. I'll be using a 2.75 hook, a small one to tuck in the ends, of course, and a pair of scissors. Please give a thumbs up on the video if you enjoy the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps to grow the channel and it helps us creators tremendously. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is that magic circle. If you can't, then do a six chain. Inside of this magic circle, I'm going to create, first I'm going to do a chain, come back in and do a single. So this is my first single. And I'm going to do seven more with the first one. We'll have a total of eight singles. I've done my eight singles. I'm pulling onto my string, closing it up. And I'm gonna come on the first one with a slip stitch, okay? Coming back in the same stitch, this is how I start my first double crochet single and two chain in the same stitch again. I'm going to do another double crochet and close it up. One, two, three chain. 
I'm coming into the next stitch. We're doing half. All of the other ones will be halves and then close it on the second double crochet that we're creating and close it. So it's two incomplete. One, two, three, chain into the next stitch, incomplete half double crochet into the same stitch and another incomplete half double crochet and close it all together. We're going to have a total of eight groups. This is row on Let's say this is row one because the singles are too small to even count as row one. Okay, so we don't get mixed up. So row one. Okay, so I've done my three chains. I'm going to come right at the edge of both double crochets we did from the start with a slip stitch. Okay, we're going to come into the center of this three chain with a single chain two. This is my first double crochet. I'm creating another double crochet. So I'm building groups again of two double crochet inside of these spaces. One, two, three, four, five chain. Now remembering that if your stitch is too tight, you can do an extra uh, chain. If it's too loose, then cut down a chain. Okay, this row two is two double crochet inside of the three chain space and five chain three four five come back in and create your two groups not two groups your two double crochet groups okay this is row two on me at the end okay everyone so i finished my row two like i said i'm not counting the singles on the center i'm counting from the groups here Going into row, uh, row three, coming into the center, I'm doing a single and I'm going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five double crochets. I'm coming back in and doing a single. One, two chain space, coming into the next one, single, and repeat again the five double crochets. So this row three is going to be like this all the way around. Single, five double crochets, and a single. Two chain into the next five chain space. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everybody, so pretty much finished all my chains. Came in my uh, sixth chain with a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to build eight double crochets. That's including with my single and two double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Row five. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight double crochets, counting with a single and two chain. I'm going to do a two chain, come back in, and a single. So basically, it's um, the single and two chain and ending two chain the single the same way. So it's nine total with that, okay? Chain two. Coming into the next chain again, single, two chain, and repeat everything again. So we have single, two chain, our first double crochet, our second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, Two chain back in the same stitch same chain single so we're going to repeat this all the way around i'll meet you at the end okay you guys so completing row five one two three the chain the six chain four and five doing my two chain coming in where that 
single is the first single we did with the two chain with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to do the walk using back loops. I call it the walk with a slip stitch until my fifth double crochet. Okay, so during the walk to the fifth one, I have the single two chain is one, two, three, four. On my fifth one, I'm coming and grabbing both loops and doing single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen chain. Counting again. One, two, three, four on my fifth one single and repeat the 13 chain going all the way around the same way okay so i'll meet you at the end so we finished row six i've closed in with a slip stitch on my first single i'm going to come on this 13 chain we're going to have a total of 16 double crochets we're going to do single two chain that's my first double crochet and i'm going to do eight double crochets first and then chain three and then eight more all in the same space here of the 13 chains okay so eight double crochets that's including my single two chain that's my first double crochet two four six seven eight one two three chain come back in and create again eight more double crochets two three four five six seven and eight okay going in directly into the next 13 chain or chain 13 and create the same thing. So we're just going to repeat everything again. Eight double crochet, three chain space, and eight more double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we finished row seven, going into row eight. This is pretty much what's starting to look like. It will be very nice. Okay, so we're going to skip the first double crochet on this row and the last double crochet on this row. So I'm coming into the next double crochet, skipping the first, coming with a single already, two chain. We're going to do seven double crochets. Okay. So I've done my seven double crochets, skipping the first. I'm going to do chain seven, two, three, four, five six seven coming into the first double crochet and i'm going to repeat again seven double crochets we are not doing the last double crochet okay so it's going to look like that i'm going to come directly again so we don't do the last and we don't do the first i'm going to repeat again my seven double crochets and then chain seven and then seven double crochets again so it's just a repeat now so i've done my seven double crochets one two three four five six seven coming into the first and repeat everything all over again seven double crochets we don't do the last double crochet we skip it and we skip the first one on the next motive okay and then go directly into the second double crochet on the next motive i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so we finished row eight going into row nine We're going to skip the first double crochet and the last. So I'm coming in the second one with a single chain two. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to have a total of six double crochets now. Three. Four. 
four, five, and six. Chain three. One, two, three. I'm coming inside of this chain and doing one, two, three, four, five double crochets. I'm going to do a popcorn like that. One, two, three, four, five chain. Coming back in again and doing my second popcorn with five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five double crochets. Coming on the first one, closing it in. One, two, three chain. Again, coming on the first double crochet with double crochet and proceed with my six double crochets. Three, four, five, and six. Remembering to skip the last one and the first one. So I'm coming in the second double crochet on the next motive and start my six double crochets again. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, finished row nine, going into row ten. We're going to skip again the same thing. Skip the first one and the last double crochet. So I'm coming in on the second with a single two chain. That's my first double crochet. You should have five on this row, ten double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five chain coming in where I have the popcorns and I'm going to create five double crochets again creating those two popcorns again space between them three chain so I have four and five double crochets closing in my popcorn one two three chain again five double crochets creating the popcorn again My neighbor's dog is a little puppy that's going crazy with, with the little uh, plate. So two, three, four, five chain. Coming into the first double crochet and create your five double crochets. One per space, one per stitch. Not doing the last double crochet. So we have our five and go directly into the next, skipping the first, of course, and doing the five. So we're just going to repeat this on row 10 the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we finished row nine, uh, row 10, going into row 11. I'm going to come in the second double crochet with a single. So we'll keep decreasing on here into chain. Now we're going to have four double crochets. Okay. One, two, three, four, five chain. I'm coming in where we have the two popcorns, the three chain. I'm going to do nine double crochet. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, double crochets. One, two, three, four, five chain. Coming in the first one and repeating my four double crochets. Well, repeating the, skipping the last one, I should say, and the first one on the next motive. So we have four double crochets. So we skip this one, the last one, and the first one. And repeat the same thing again. Four double crochets. Five chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming into the center of the popcorn. 
and doing the nine double crochets. And then repeat the same thing, chain five again. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row. Okay, everyone, going into row 12. So we started the foundation of the pineapples already. I'm going to go over to the next double crochet, always skipping the first one and the last one. Single two chain. On this row 12, you should have only three double crochets, chain five, two, three, four, five. I'm going to come in on the first double crochet with double crochet, one chain. On the second double crochet with double crochet, one chain space between them. So you should have your nine double crochets with one chain space between all of them. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one chain space between them and chain five. Three, four, five. Skip the first double crochet, come into the second. Create your three double crochets. Sorry, going to the first double crochet. I don't know what I was thinking. You're supposed to skip the last and the first. Sorry about that. Double crochet. Next space, double crochet. And your three double crochets. Just like that. And then skip the last one and the first one and come into the next one. Create your three double crochets. And repeat everything again. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Into the first double crochet of the nine double crochet with double crochet, one chain space, into the next, and so on. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so finish row 12, going into row 13. Skipping the first double crochet, going into the second, single, two chain. So again, on these motives here, we don't do the last, we don't do the first. Chain five, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to come in the first space between the first and second double crochet with double crochet, one chain. Into the next double crochet, one chain into the next double crochet and proceed this way. So normally in the pineapples, we usually do the three chain and single loops. On these ones, I'm doing double crochet instead of loops, okay? It's just to be different than the normal double crochet. I mean, different is good, why not? So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, double crochets one two three four five chain skip the first uh, I mean not skip going to the first my goodness and do the second so we're left with two double crochets skip the last one and the first one and proceed again the same way chain five and into the first uh, space chain between the first and second double crochet with double crochet, one chain space, and proceed to do the pineapple. The only difference is, like I said, we're not doing the three chain loops, we're doing double crochets. I like different. Most of you that follow me know that I like different creations. 
Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, finished row 13, going to row 14. So skipping the first one, coming in the next one with single chain two. That's my first double crochet. One, two, three, four, five chain, four going into the pineapples. So I'm coming in between space. We're starting to decrease on the pineapples. You should have seven double crochets now on this row 14. I believe it's row 14. Let me just confirm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes. Sometimes you know me, get these rows mixed up. I'm just used to crocheting away and not doing counts at all. Chain five, two, three, four, and five. And of course, you know you're skipping the always oh, skipping the last and the first. So we're coming in here with one double crochet, two chain this time, skip the last one there, <clears throat> and come into the next one. So the last and the first we don't do. Chain five, two, three, four, five, and repeat your pineapples again. One chain space, double crochet, one chain space, double crochet. So very simple. That's what happens when your hands are stretched out on top of a small manicure table and you can't do that much movement. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so row 15. So I pretty much started here already. So we've closed in with slip stitch. Did the walk into the center, did my single to change my, my first double crochet, created a shell of three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet. I'm going to create another one. So two chain and three more double crochet. So I'll have three groups of three double crochet inside of the space, the two chain space. One, two, three, four, Five. If it's too loose for you, you can do a chain four. Okay, one chain and create your double crochets for your pineapples. So very simple and very fast pattern to create also. One, two, three, four, five. Create those three groups of three double crochet all in this two chain space here. So three double crochet, two chain space, three more double crochet, and two more chain three more double crochet. So we're creating those groups. We need to start closing off the pineapples. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone going into row 16. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk with slip stitch to the center of my first shell here. And I'm going to create a shell, single, two chain, and two more double crochet. So we have three double crochet with that single and two chain. Chain two, and again, three double crochet. Chain two, create your second shell. three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet.
salt three double crochet two chain three double crochet two chain three double crochet two chain three double crochet chain five three two three four five and continue to create your double crochets one chain space So on this row 16, we should have four little blocks. That means one, two, three, four, five double crochets. Chain five. And proceed again with your shells. I have three double crochet, two chain, three more double crochet. Two chain space between shells and again three double crochet two chain and three more double crochet so we're going to repeat this row the same way all the way around I'll meet you at the end Okay, everyone, going to row 16. Let me just count to confirm. Seventeen, sorry. Going to row 17. So I've closed in with slip stitch, did the walk, did my shell. We're going to do shells and all three spaces here. So in the center of this two, um, we're going to do a one chain space in between the shells. In the center here of this two chain space we have, we're doing the shell of three, double crochet, two chain, three more, double crochet. And then one chain space between shells, and again, another shell. Three, double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So we have three shells, shell over shell in the center and shell over shell. Chain five, two, three, four, five. Create your pineapple double crochets. one chain and again so on this row 16 you should have three little squares that means four double crochets chain five and repeat your shells shell over shell three double crochet two chain and three more double crochet one chain space and create your shell in the center one chain space and your other shell so this is how row 16 looks like I'll meet you at the end okay everyone finished row 17 going to row 18 so I did the walk with slip stitch then my shell I'm going to do one, two chain, coming inside of that one chain space with a single. One, two chain, continue to do my shell over shell. With three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. One, two chain coming inside of that one chain space with single one two chain create your shell over shell very simple your five double your five uh, chain stitch one two three four 
five, create your double crochet, one chain, double crochet, one chain, double crochet, and your five chain again. Continue to do the same thing, shell over shell, your two chain, your single shell over shell, exactly how we just finished doing. Okay, so basically this is what it is. So we have two little squares, three double crochet on the pineapple. We're almost there. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 19. So I've closed in with slip stitch, did my shell. I'm going to do three chain, one, two, three, and do my shell again. three chain and my shell again everything else stays the same three four five chain come in did I do five two three four yep yeah. Double crochet, one chain, and double crochet, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Continue to do shell over shell. Chain three shell over shell. So it's just a repeat now. Okay, so shell over shell, three chain, shell over shell, three chain, shell over shell, chain five, double crochet, one chain space, double crochet, chain five, and continue on. I'll meet you at the end. Everyone, so we finished row 19, going to row 20, last row. So I closed in with slip stitch, did single, two chain, my first double crochet, and one, two, three, chain more. So we have single, one, two, three, four, five five double crochet. I'm coming back down on my second double crochet and picot. Coming in again, double crochet, one, two, three, picot, double crochet, one, two, three, picot, and again, So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets and one, two, three, four, five picots. I'm going to come in the middle of that chain and I'm going to close it up with a single. I'm coming back into the next shell with double crochet, one, two, three, chain, and do my picots again. So we'll have five picots and six double crochets okay and then of course we're going to go directly but if your stitch is too tight you can do a one chain uh, space going into that uh, into the uh, three chains so one two three four
This is my fifth picard, my sixth double crochet. So we don't do picard on the last one. I'm going directly, closing with single, okay? And repeat the same thing on that one. Okay, so I've done my picard groups. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Coming in my last one here with one double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And continue again with your double crochet on your shelves and your picots. That's pretty much it for this pattern.